Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Today, today is Thursday. Happy Thursday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. Today is gonna be a day to take the girls shopping. So we did the boys, did some, like a little bit of the girls just by like when we ran in that one day, we got to do a little bit, but today I'm taking all four girls out shopping. So we're gonna have a good day. It's freezing cold. It went from like good spring weather to like blistery freezing 40 degrees today windy i know some of you are getting snow today too so just the little fall before the wonderful uh springtime warm weather comes back so i'm gonna make avocado toast i told you i was gonna do that yesterday and i didn't because the avocados are really really hard this feels somewhat like it's gonna be good so i'm gonna take some good seed bread i love this bread one of my favorites i don't get it very much at all but i really like this from the toaster mash some of these up and then put Everything bagel seasoning is so good. This is what they had over at Dunkin' Donuts and it was the delicious. They use sourdough bread, which I do have too, but I like this one better. So let's make some avocado toast for breakfast. All right, so this is breakfast. This is so, so good. They're a little bit, obviously not super ripe, but they work. Mm. Delicious. So, so good. I don't think I've ever eaten avocado toast before, but I saw it at Cameras on Angle. Saw it over there at, when we went to Dunkin' Sunday, and I'm like, oh, I need to get one of those, and it was so, so good. So, delicious breakfast for me. All right, I've got this and a banana, and then, uh, we're going to get out the door right now. We're going to go head over to another city, go do some shop, and I got a list for the girls. It's going to be a great day. This is a dinner. This is a freezer meal. It is Salisbury steak. So I wanted to cook this this morning because, oh, and because I'm be heading up the door and I wanted it all nice and finished today. So I'm going to take this, transfer it to the pressure cooker just to keep it on slow, like a real warm setting so it's cooked for the day. And we'll just have this over noodles today. All right, we made it to the car. Actually, we ran to the house, came back in, it's freezing cold. It's 36 degrees right now. And I'm like, we have to vacuum the car. So I better go get a jacket. So we're going to go ahead and meet all the ladies. Hello. All the ladies out here. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go, I don't know what we'll do first, but we're going to take you along for a fun outing with the girls. All right, so we got to, we're doing a new car wash. Lauren said to try this car wash out. It's car, it's Mr. Zippy. So we're going to find out if Mr. Zippy is really good or not. Usually they have people here, oh, they do have people spray in your car. So we are going to see. Okay, nothing worse than vacuuming your car when it's 38 degrees outside, but <laughs> we clean it. They don't have like the spray, I don't think they even have the spray towels, they don't. The other car wash gives you cleaner to clean them off with, no big deal, I have it at home, but that is the positive about using the other one, but it's clean, the dirt's off, that's all that matters. Okay, freezing, we're gonna go ahead to Walmart. All right, we're going into Walmart. Okay, no sleek cream, nobody's got that. So we are gonna go with a frizz ease, I don't know if there really any frizz, but frizz put on here, we can try it. Okay, Maddie needs a pair of flip-flops just to throw on to Go outside then. Do you like those? Yeah. Okay, so those, okay, so flip flop throw-ons for Maddie. Here's some sparkly shoes. Those are really cute. Those match all your pink shirts. Yeah, but the problem is it's like right next to my like here. That's what it's supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to be. Alright, she's going for shoes. Yes, you like those? Alright, so you got so we're coming to girls here for Alright, we found this. Easy, five dollars. Okay, throw that in. We'll get you pajama dress. Boom. One and a melon. All right, Maddie's gonna go for something a little different. She's going for some bell-bottom pants. We're gonna see. Grandma Linda would wear this when she was a kid. All right, okay, so this is shirt here, and then a pair of shorts. Okay, Maddie got her some, some socks. All right, we made it. They might not. All right, we made it. All right, we got a, we're gonna go with navy. We got a few things here for Madeline. I was surprised, usually this Walmart is more stocked with stuff, but I feel like our Walmart actually had more, so we're gonna go ahead to Old Navy. All right, we're gonna go into Old Navy, see what we can find. This with like yeah, a let's go. We will. Let's go find it. Look at Maddie got this. This will go, we'll call it with your blue sweater at home. Now we got to find an outfit for this. All right, Maddie got this dress. She's going for that with this. Looking styling. Okay, let's go see. So Brooklyn's found a bunch of graphic tees. So we're looking right here. Ten dollar graphic tees. Brooklyn picked out some earrings. Let me see, Maddie. Turn around. <gasps> Ta -da! Look at Maddie. She's looking good. There you go, Maddie. That's okay. Looking scrunchy. All right, it's a keeper. Look at her. All right, we made it. Push. 
and me. Take a left. Ooh, frozen. All right, we're gonna walk down and go to the rack room shoes. No go on the shoes in there. They're cute ones, but nothing in the sizes. So we're just gonna have to go to another store. All right, we're gonna go into Target, see what we can find. All right, Target, we didn't find a whole lot, but I found, Brooklyn found these. These are really pretty. Mm -hmm. And then I found this. I got one of these a year, few years ago, and my ring like ruined it by pulling all the holes through. So it was on clearance, it works. All right, left at Target. Only, we didn't really get anything there. So just, Jane got a couple pair of pants. We got that clearance sweater and the earrings. So we're gonna go get lunch because we're starving. I think <laughs> girls are tired. Maddie picks Chick-fil-A. So yeah. she's, we're gonna have Chick-fil-A and then we're gonna, we'll head over to our Walmart and our TJ Maxx because we know there's stuff there. All right, we, we made it to Chick-fil-A. We made it to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is so fast. I don't even have time to record and say we got an order. So we got all our food ordered, be delicious. And then we're just gonna run into our Walmart here and pick up three things that we need that I think that they have and then, and then we'll go over to TJ Maxx. Is that exciting girls? So excited. Are you guys so excited? Girls are way harder to shop for than boys. <laughs> I got the all girls are like, I well, not me. One. Not you. I got all the boys clothes at one boys. store. I got all the boys yeah I got all the boys clothes in one store so Brooklyn found good t-shirts. She found good t-shirts. In the guy section. In the guy section because guy they, clothes are so comfy. they fit you and they're comfy. They're not like girls are always so fitting and so like everywhere so so all, so all over the place. So you just get a nice size shirt. So, all right, we're gonna go get our delicious lunch, eat, and then head over to Walmart. All right, lunch. We're doing the the grilled chicken, and I got some waffle potato fries and some avocado lime ranch. The girls all got sandwiches. Delicious. Okay, I ate like half of our lunch. Now we're gonna run in and just pick up like three things here. It's me, my Madeline. <laughs> we're back in Walmart again. I was just here this week. Remember? <laughs> Hopefully their grocery service is better today. So we're gonna go head back and see if we can find shoes here. Cause we're having a hard time finding some gym shoes for her for outside. So let's go see what we can find. She said she's very particular. She likes only certain ones. She's in that phase where she's gotta feel like, they gotta feel right, which I understand. So, oh, the dress is here too. All right, hold on. Oh, it's all stuck together. Okay, so look at, she got this one. That's cute. Do you like this one right here with the butterflies? Mm, no. no? Yeah, okay. We saw all of these the kitty cat. Where's the girl's shoes? Right here. Girls, or er, those are baby's aisle. Little kid. The no. sex. Are they? Are they right here? Over here, Maddie. Madeline. This aisle. Here's the girl's shoe. Bright pink. Let's see. There's your pink ones we just found. We just gotta find a pair of like flip on shoes for a park. You do have those. We need, like, any of these. Look right here. Any of these shorter ones you wanna have. Alright, so three is way too big, two is way too small. They have no so two and a half, I so we're just gonna have to look at a different thing. We're making it. Maddie and I are getting all our stuff. We're getting there, we're doing it, we're almost there. All right, we did it, Maddie and I are here, so we're gonna go back in the car so she can finish lunch, and then go ahead to TJ Maxx. All right, we're here, freezing. We're gonna go over there to TJ Maxx, go back in the store, see what we can find. Can't come to TJ Maxx without getting yourself an apron. I thought that was pretty. All right, we're gonna look for, oh, Maddie right here. Maddie's good, TJ Maxx, that's nice. That looks comfy, looks. All right, so we got the dress this, we got a pair of Jimmy shorts, that's it. All right, Come on, Posey. let's go find Jane. I have $10 off, so it's not so bad to buy this. All right, leaving TJ Maxx. And now we're gonna go head over to the shoe store, hopefully find shoes for Autumn and Madeline. I'm sure we will there. That's where we're gonna go. All right, we're gonna go into the shoe and co right here. Right here. All right, Maddie, we found two and a half Skechers. Oh, Skechers girl, two and a half. Thing. Has that shoe thing in the middle. Well, let's find out. Oh, so she's gonna try. All right, let's see how they do. Let's see if the shoes. Fit. We gotta get the right fitting feeling. To, oh, undo them. There you go. Oh. Gotta undo them first. Okay. How are they gonna pass the test? I'll let her do her first reaction to herself. All right, I'll cut this clip out if they're not good. Stand up, see if you like them. Oh, look at those. Oh, those are good, Maddie. Look at that. She, Maddie, Maddie. <laughs> She's so fun. Do you like those? I like those. Comfy for playing? Yeah, but whenever I lift my foot up. Well, it's gonna do a little bit. Your feet are gonna grow. Come here, let me see. And they're like kind of. They're cute. All right, let's get and those. I can make, um, cause I usually like having my toe go up. Yes. I usually like flitter my Let's toes. do them. Wait, Brooklyn found blue ones. Those are really cute. I nice. wanted light ones because when I wear like dresses and stuff, these are like really, really black. Right, so you want blue ones. I wanted some those lighter nice. ones. What's Autumn finding? <laughs> she was a pink ones. Autumn is a pink. One yeah, the, no, put it on. They think, yes. Put it on, let's see what you can see. All right, Autumn is the pink girl. And she wants, these are what, Vans? These go with, yeah. yeah. Those are very cute. Look about the right size. Brooklyn's like, can I wear them? <laughs> yeah, like, can I please I have them in a different color? Mine are all tight yeah. because they're tight. Those look nice. Mine got Velcro. Yeah, so what do we get? Autumn, you see a Birkenstock. Autumn got Birkenstocks. She likes these. 
She has a pair from last year and they're pretty worn, so we're gonna get these for her this year. And then we're gonna order her other bands. All right, we did good. We ordered her other van shoes right in the store, so we got those kind of checkered pink, and she got her little Birkenstocks that she loves to wear. She wears only those shoes all summer long, so I might as well get her a pair that she likes to wear instead of just having to get new ones as they wear out. So, all right, we're gonna go head home because we are done shopping. All right, the girls said that I, they were playing tag in the store, and I and they're like, you're still it. I'm like, I didn't even know you were playing in the store, so. Good day, girls. You feel successful? Yeah. I do. Jane's tired. I'm not sure she's feeling tired. That's okay. Everybody else feels successful. We got pretty much everything, a few things we did not get. But nothing bad. Jane, no, I, didn't get get or, I didn't get like one thing, but that was it. Didn't That's okay. A few things. I didn't but get my bathing suit. No bathing suit, but we still got time because it's freezing. So early. we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the post office yeah. and then we're going to go head home for the day. See how Lauren did with all the boys, the two boys. Mm -hmm. They had a fun day out. They're going to do, they have something planned fun for when um, Ash and Paul are here. They're going to play together. All of us, everybody's going to play. So something fun they're going to play and we'll show. Okay, let's go head home. All right, we have a whole situation back here. We are home. Yeah, I, have, gonna, I have like a whole thing. She has a whole thing going on. So we're gonna go home. We're gonna be barking, excited. We're gonna go in and unload our stuff. All right, so we are home now. Got home, and all the girls did a little fashion show for Lauren. Showed them everything they got, and they love everything. So there's just a few things we need more. It'll just be more online ordering for that. But for the most part, everybody's good, which is a good thing. So we'll have to look for swimsuits, but that's always like a search trying to find some good. Uh, Decent bathing suit. So now I'm gonna go. I was looking at the footage I pulled off here and it's like 15 minutes, but I'm like, that's okay. Today's gonna be a short video, but tomorrow I promise you is going to be a large food video because I am making all of our food for, it's gonna be a gather your fragments. It's not really gather your fragments. It's gather your fragments that you bought at the store <laughs> video. All of, most of our Easter food as well as birthday food because we're gonna do Ashland's surprise birthday tomorrow. So, but I won't show you that tomorrow. You'll have that the next week, but I will show you all the food I'm going to make. So I'm going, I have to go. Jaden is gonna to go to church early. She's got practice. For those of you that don't know, she plays on her, the kid, the, not the kids, the youth worship band. So she plays guitar, so that's pretty cool. So she is going to go do that. So I have to take her in about a half hour and then I'm gonna come back and get dinner for the rest of the kids. And then we're gonna head out and go do church tonight. So my day's coming to an end. Tomorrow is gonna to be early. Tomorrow is a 4, 5 a.m., 4, 5, I'll give myself an hour, a.m. morning. We got some food to make. I gotta get everything done before Ash and Paul fly in. So it's gonna be a great day. So thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys again tomorrow with another big video. So have a great rest of your day. We'll see ya, bye. And for those of you that like to stay, I'm gonna read our Psalm for the day. Psalm 69, a cry of distress and imprecation on adversaries. Save me, O God, for the waters have threatened my life. They've come up to my neck. I have sunk in deep mire where there is no foothold. I come into deep waters where a flood overwhelms me. I am weary with my crying. My throat is parched. My eyes fail while I wait with confident expectation for my God. Those who hate me without cause are more than the hairs of my head. Those who would destroy me are powerful, being my enemies wrongfully. I am forced to restore what I did not steal. O oh God, you know my folly. My wrongs are not hidden from me. Do not let those who wait confidently for you be ashamed through me. O oh Lord God of hosts, do not let those who seek you as necessary for life itself be dishonored through me, O oh God of Israel. Because for your sake I have borne reproach. Confusion and dishonor have covered my face. I have become estranged from my brothers and an alien to my mother's sons. For zeal, your house has consumed me, and the mocking insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. When I wept and humbled myself with fasting, it became my reproach. When I made sackcloth my clothing as one in mourning, I became a byword, a mere object of scorn to them. I have to turn the page and keep reading, but I feel like, have you ever felt this way? Have you ever felt the distress, like the deep waters just coming upon you? Just feeling that overwhelming, like everything is just coming to just squeeze you? It's in here. They who sit in the city's gate talk about me and mock me. I am the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is to you, O Lord, at an acceptable and opportune time. O God, in the greatness of your favor and in the abundance of your loving kindness. 
Answer me with truth, that is, the faithfulness of your salvation. Rescue me from the mire and do not let me sink. Let me be rescued from those who hate me and from the deep waters. Do not let the flood water overwhelm me, nor the deep waters swallow me up, nor the pit of Sheol shut its mouth over me. Answer me, O Lord, for your loving kindness is sweet and good and comforting. According to the greatness of your compassion, turn to me. Do not hide your face from your servant, for I am in distress. Answer me quickly. Draw near to me, soul, and redeem it. Ransom me because of my enemies, so that they do not delight in my distress. You know my reproach and my shame and my dishonor, how I am insulted. My adversaries are all before you, each one fully known. Reproach and insults have broken my heart, and I am so sick. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. I've been there. Have you been there before? They, self-righteous hypocrites, also gave me gall, poison and bitter for my food. And for my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Jesus on the cross. May their table, with all its abundance and luxury, become a snare to them. And when they are in peace, secure, at their sacrificial feast, may it become a trap. May their eyes be dim so that they cannot see, and make their loins shake continually in terror and weakness. Pour out your indignation on them, and let the fierceness of your burning anger overtake them. May their encampment be desolate. May no one dwell in their tents, for they have persecuted him whom they, you have struck, and they tell of the pain of those whom you have pierced and wounded. Add unforgiven iniquity to their iniquity in your book, and may they not come into your righteousness. May they be blotted out of the book of life, and their lives come to an end, and may they be recorded with the righteous, those in right standing with God. But I am sorrowful and in pain. May your salvation, O God, set me securely on high. I will praise the name of God with song, and magnify him with thanksgiving, and it will please the Lord better than an ox, or a young bull with horns and hoof. The humble have seen it and are glad. You who seek God, requiring him as your greatest need, let your heart revive and live. For the Lord hears the needy and does not despise his who are prisoners. Let heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moves in them. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah, that his servants may remain there and possess it. The descendants of his servants will inherit it, and those who love his name will dwell in it. Have a blessed day. Okay.